Hey guys, Keylog here. So today I want to talk to you guys about whether conventional coffee is bad for you and is organic the only way. The reason I'm bringing this topic up is because a couple weeks ago my coworker and I had a discussion about this. So while I was taking my K-cup off of the Keurig, he mentioned, hey, hey man, you should really stick to organic coffee. Organic coffee is far better for you than conventional. And I said, I said why? And he said, conventional coffee is made with tons of pesticide and it's highly processed. And in his opinion, it is probably one of the worst things that a person can consume. Now, many people out there immediately associate the word organic in the label as healthy products. And items that don't have organic are not healthy, are not as good for you. And that's just not the case, all the time at least. So I wanted to do research on this. Is conventional coffee bad for you? Turns out no, conventional coffee is not bad for you. Actually organic coffee doesn't have that many extra benefits than conventional coffee. Both of them are perfectly safe. Now if you wanna know why conventional coffee is not bad for you, then watch the rest of the video. In order to validate my answer, we'll go through the process of making coffee. The first step in the process is after the coffee bean has been planted. While the coffee bean is growing to a tree, you treat it with pesticides to keep the insects off of it. According to Chem Service Inc., the most commonly used pesticides are cypermetrin, deltametrin, chlorpyrifos, carbaryl, and melatinon. All of these pesticides are poisonous to insects, animals, and humans. The second step is once the coffee plant has fully matured, the coffee cherries are harvested by hand or machine. The third step is the berries are stored in a water tank to soak. This process is used to identify the unripe cherries to dispose of. The unripe cherries will float to the top while the ripe ones sink to the bottom. During this soaking process, a lot of the pesticide coating, the cherries are seeping off. The fourth step is after removing the beans inside the cherries, the beans are left to dry until they're about 9 to 13% moisture. The fifth step is the beans are sent to a hauling machine to remove any unwanted outer layers. This is called milling. The sixth step is the coffee beans are roasted over 400 degrees Fahrenheit. An article written by Science Focus states, to reliably break down all pesticide molecules, you would need to expose the pesticide to temperatures well over 100 degrees Celsius. 100 degrees Celsius is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Step seven is package the roasted coffee beans. As clearly stated in the steps, the conventionally roasted beans will have no pesticide residues when you brew your coffee at home or work. It's harmless to you. Both organic and conventional coffee beans go through the same exact process, except organic coffee plants aren't treated with pesticides during the first stage. So after doing my research, I'm actually more inclined to purchase organic coffee than conventional coffee. Uh, why is this? I just told you all that conventional coffee is not bad for you. It's not towards personal health. The pesticides that they use to make conventional coffee, it goes to the soil and eventually leads to the river systems and damages the water ecosystems. This poisons all the drinking water for animals, insects, and even people. And if I had to spend a couple of extra dollars in order to go against that, then yeah, I'll go ahead and buy organic. That's just my two cents. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, and if you guys liked this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. Uh, it lets me know to keep making more of them. Thanks guys. I'm looking right there. Right to your soul. Right. I'm looking right there. Alright. So every single time I make one of these educational videos, these motherfuckers right here, they follow me and make noise.